Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Gina and I make videos about houseplants and houseplant related content. So if that sounds interesting to you, you should hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my small leaf Hoya collection. So a couple of weeks ago, we took a look, look at my big leaf Hoyas. So I thought it would be the perfect time to go through all of my small leaf Hoyas. So we'll be looking at some cute ones, some not so cute ones, some really prolific growers, and some sadly that are struggling right now. So normally I would bring those Hoyas in here to show you guys, but I've decided that we're going to go to the rooms that they're living in because it would make it so much easier to not have to drag them all in here. We have a lot to get through, so why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so our first stop is right here in my office because I do have quite a few Hoyas in this room and quite a few small leaf Hoyas. So right here, this is a northeast facing window. And actually, I think it's more north facing than east facing. So I do get some pretty bright morning light in here and the plants do really well. So let's get into these Hoyas. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is the Hoya Kumingiana. And this is actually, these are cuttings from my original mother plant, which I did end up this one has been kind of a, it's kind of a picky plant, I think. Um, the mother plant, it like it rotted at the base, like the stem rotted. And I don't know why, but it did. So these are all cuttings from that original plant. And there's like one, two, three, four, five cuttings in this pot. And I absolutely adore this plant. I think it looks so cute on this trellis. All right, so the next one we're gonna look at is this one. This is my Hoya sigillatus. And here, I'll give you a close up of these leaves. It's a pretty one, but I wouldn't say I'm like crazy about, about this plant. It's a little bit boring to me. But look, here's a tiny new little leaf that's coming out. It lives in a chunky soil mix. And this one seems to love being on the more wet side. All right, you guys, so the next one is a really cute one and not boring to me at all. And that is my Hushkiliana variegata. So this one actually, um, it didn't grow too much for me this summer. I don't know why, I mean, I, this is new, a newer leaf here, but I just, it didn't, it didn't do a whole lot of growing this season. Uh, last year it grew a lot, but it just, not this year. So this is another one that I think likes to be on the more wet side. Um, it does get, I do keep it near the humidifier because it has, I just think it does better in a more humid environment and with wetter soil. And it is in a chunky soil mix. And I just recently put it into this pot, which I think matches so cute with these. When the leaves come out, they're kind of pinky, kind of peachy color. And it just, it looks really good together. All right, so this next one, I feel like I have been showing you guys a lot lately. And this is the Hoya Serpens. I think this one was in a favorites video and then I had it in another video too. I can't remember what it was, but oh, one of my fastest growing Hoya um, this season. So it grew a ton for me. And this one also likes a more humid environment and also kind of keep it more on the moist side. And as you can see, it is in a very chunky soil mix. That's Hoya Serpents. So the next one I'm gonna show you is one that has really been pretty exciting to me. 
Um, this is the Hoya Hushkiliana, and this is the regular non-variegated version, and it's also, um, it has a yellow flower. So I think these come in different flower colors. I think there's also a pink, and this is the yellow. So this plant was really struggling for me for a while. It took, it took quite a while for me to really get, to really know what this plant wanted. I had it in terracotta, and I had it sitting out in the room with no extra humidity and it just really kind of suffered so i took it out of the terracotta and i put it in this little va or little pot and then i keep it near the humidifier and it has it did a lot of growing for me so that's hoya hushkiliana okay so the next one we're looking at is the hoya Kanyaku Mariana, and it's a small, ruffly leafed plant, and the leaves are very stiff. They're like, I, I never really know if this plant is on the verge of death or if it's, that's just how it is, but it just, I don't want to say it's ugly, because I hate to say any plant is ugly, but it's just, I mean, it's cute, and I love the ruffles, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this one? I think maybe when it gets to be a bigger plant, it'll be, I'll like it better. But, so that's Hoya Kanyaku Mariana. All right, so the next one is another one I feel like I've shown you guys a lot lately. And this is the Hoya Qinghung Gensis. And this one was in my fastest growing Hoyas of the 2022 growing season because it just, it did all of this this year. It's just a prolific grower. And I'll give you a close up of these cute little leaves. Lives in a chunky soil mix and I also keep it um, near the humidifier because I believe these like a higher humidity. That's Hoya Ching Hung Gensis. So cute. So this one is another Hoya Kumingiana. And I wouldn't show you it, but this one, since we already looked at a Kumingiana, but this, look at this growth pattern. This thing just really cracks me up. And I don't want to put it on a trellis because then it would just be just like my other one. But when it's just sitting on the shelf like this it's just ridiculous look at that so funny and it has another stem coming out here so i'm just gonna keep letting this one grow like this we'll see how long we can get it it'll be a little experiment that's hoya Kumingiana. so the next one this is a hoya lii L Y I and this is a really cute small leaf and it's got a little fuzzy probably can't see it but it's got little fuzzy leaves super cute and when I got this one it was in a pond mixture and I just recently switched out a bunch of my Hoyas out of pond and put them into soil so hopefully this one does make the transition without a hitch. We'll see. Just have to keep a really close eye on it. Make sure my soil doesn't dry out, at least not for a week. So that's Hoya Lii. So the next one we're looking at is the Hoya Retusa. And I would take this one down, but it's, I have it clipped to this um, plant hanger and hopefully you can see it pretty good here but it's such a cute one and i love how it has these like little it's like little poofs of leaves here i don't know if you can see that but it's really cute that's hoya retusa so then also hanging here we have this hoya colina which is a really pretty small leaf Hoya and also this one I don't want to take it down but we have some new a new stem coming out here 
uh, with new leaves and this one is doing really well hanging in this window. That's Hoya Colina. And next to that one we have the beautiful Hoya Linearis which has really grown a lot for me this summer. Um, here let me let's go down so you can see how just how much it has grown so much. So pretty. I love how just they're so soft. These leaves, they're kind of they're kind of velvety. And that's just so beautiful. And this is a plant that likes to be on the wetter side. So you don't really want to ever let this one dry out. And you will know when it's dried out because these leaves will not be, they'll be like kind of, they'll be limp. You'll definitely be able to tell the difference. It's like hair. So beautiful. Hoya linearis. So that's it for this room. Let's move on to the next. So this room is my bedroom. And as you can probably see, it is super bright in here. It's also morning and this is a east, southeast facing window. As you can see right here. So I do have a few small leaf Hoyas in here that I can show you. This first one is the Hoya Carmele. And this is a really sweet little small leaf Hoya. It's kind of new to me, although it has been growing pretty well for me since I got it. I probably had it a couple months. And super cute. So the next one I can show you is Hoya elliptica. And I mean, it's not a super small leaf Hoya, but it's on the smaller side. So we're gonna include it here. And this one, um, when I first got it, it had issues and I had to reroot this one in water and then I put it into a pond mixture. And then I just recently switched it out of the pond and I put it into a chunky soil mix. So hope, I'm hoping this one does make the transition easily, but it has grown a ton for me. And another new leaf on the way. That's Hoya elliptica. All right, so hanging on the wall here, right here, this is my Hoya Rebecca, which is a big favorite of mine. It has grown so much for me and has given me so many um, I've had made so many propagations from this plant, and it's just beautiful. Hoya Rebecca. And speaking of Rebecca, I have this one. So I don't know if you guys recognize this one, but I got this one as a freebie. It was a tiny little cutting and it's grown into this. And um, the seller, she wasn't sure if it was a Rebecca or a Memoria gracilis. Um, so I just had to wait and see what it turned into. So I thought it was a gracilis Memoria and then it flowered for me. There's a peduncle back here, it flowered. And now I know it's a Rebecca. So it's a little bit disappointing, but I think I'm gonna sell this one and try to find myself a Gracilis Memoria. I know the name has changed. I think it was Gracilis. Now they call it Memoria. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. It, it, it looks so different from my other Rebecca that's here. I don't know. That's why I thought it was the, the Memoria, but it's not, it's a Rebecca. So that's it for this room. Let's go to the next. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at all of my small Hoya in my Millsbo Ikea cabinet. So I do have several different ones in here. And the first one I'm going to grab. So this is the Hoya Beacensis Splash. And it's a really cute round leaf and it has really nice splash on it. 
So this one has been in this cabinet for a while and I, it was in a smaller pot and I recently switched it over to this terracotta pot. So basically this one outgrew its little pot and it's a really cute one. I highly recommend it. It's in a nice chunky soil and it's just a really fun bushy little small leafed Hoya. So that's the Hoya Biakensis Splash. So this next one is one of my very favorite Hoyas and this is the Hoya Kentiana Lori Lynn and this one has the the variegation is on the outside and it has this pink rim. Hopefully you can see that. Variegation and a pink rim. So that um, differentiates this one and that's what makes it a Lori Lynn. So this one hasn't been a super fast grower for me, but it is growing and it's got a new stem that popped up here. Another new little leaf on the way and I love it. That's Hoya Kentiana Lori Lynn. All right, so this next one is really cool. Not yet, but it will be really cool one day, hopefully. And this is the Hoya Patella Pink. And this one is, um, it's another one that's really, stiff leaf like almost like cardboard which I hope is normal and it's also fuzzy but the way it's stiff um, I feel it reminds me of the um, Kanyaku Mariana which I said um, I don't know if it's like on the verge of dying or what I kind of feel like that with this one but and it has really it feels like it's just real fuzzy but the really neat thing about this one is the flowers that it gets. It gets these giant single flowers. And I'm gonna put a picture up here of what the flowers look like. And it's just so cool. So this one, it does need a higher humidity, which is why I have it in the cabinet. So I'm hoping the cabinet will be enough humidity for it. Um, but that's the Hoya Patella Pink. All right, so next we're gonna take a look at my Hoya Angleriana. And this probably looks a little different. If you've seen my other videos where I showed this Hoya, I trimmed this one because it was going crazy all over the place and it was just, it was getting too crazy in the cabinet. So I trimmed it, I propagated it, and this is what's left. So that's Hoya and Glariana. And this next one is a really pretty one. And another one that's grown a little crazy. And this is my Hoya Croniana Black. Super pretty, those black leaves. And also they're splashy. Hoya Croniana Black. And then another one that needs to be, desperately needs to be propagated. And that is my Hoya Rotunda Flora. And I'm going to be propagating this one very soon. That's an interesting one, different leaf shape. I don't think there's any other Hoya that has the same leaf shape. So that makes it pretty cool. That's Hoya Rotunda Flora. I do have another Hoya Sigillatus in here, which is actually kind of, I think it's prettier than the other one. The other one I said was kind of boring. So this one, I think because it gets sun stressed, so it looks a little bit pinkish, kind of reddish. But this is another one I want to propagate because it's just in the cabinet it's just too crazy taking up too much space so that's another Hoya sigillatus 
All right, so this next one, this is a Hoya, and I think it's Numularioides. I can't remember, so I'm, I'll put the name will be up here. This is another fuzzy leaf. Love those fuzzy leaves, really cute. So far it's been a slow grower for me, but it's also kind of new, so it's in a cute little pot. So this next one, it's actually the last Hoya in this cabinet, small leaf Hoya, and this is the Hoya Curtisii. Isn't that cute? Love those splashes and these little, little tiny leaves. And this one has attached itself to this clay pot, which is kind of funny. It's really cute. So that's Hoya Curtisii. All right, so we made it back to where we started. And I'm gonna show you this next one. This is my Hoya Bertonie, and it hangs in this planter in a window over here in my dining room in a um, southwest facing window. And it does really well there. And it's really cute. It's another super fuzzy leaf and super easy care. That's Hoya Bertonie. Okay, there's one over here I wanna go grab real quick for you guys. And this one is one of my very favorites. This is the Croniana Splash. And I love these, this one gets like these really big leaves. It's just so cool looking and it's really grown a ton for me. I just love it. It's probably one of my favorite Hoyas. So cool. So that's the Hoya Croniana Splash. All right, so these next three are three Hoyas that have struggled a bit for me lately. So these are all in little glass jars of water because they all ended up with root rot for me. So we're starting over with these. So this first one, this is the Hoya Sunrise. And actually this one of the three was the one that I crashed the, the first. And you can see it's been in this jar for a while because it has all these beautiful new roots growing and it even flowered for me. So this one is making a nice comeback. So that is the Hoya Sunrise. So this next one was not that long ago that you guys saw this one, only like maybe two weeks ago I shared this one with you. It was in my fastest growing Hoya of the summer 2022 growing season. Oh look, it decided to crash on me. So I don't know if it had such a big growing season and, and now it's just like, okay, I'm done. I don't know, we lost another leaf here. But I stuck it in this water and we are getting some new root growth, so. Hopefully this one will be okay. I mean, I do have um, propagations of this, so even if I lose this, I still have the plant. But, so that's the Hoya Croniana Super Splash. And then finally, the last one that I'm starting over with, this is my Hoya Matilde. And it's been in this Jar. Second longest. So the sunshine was first, then this one, and then the super silver. So it's doing fine. It's bouncing back and it's getting some nice root growth in the jar. So it'll be okay. Plus I also have a ton of propagations of this plant. So it's okay. That's Hoya Matilde. So I believe that is all of my small leaf Hoyas in my collection. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my collection 
And um, if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to be a part of this community. So hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.